Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a sheet and how you can align your views on the sheet in Revit. So I'm going to go with sheet. So I'm going to right click, go with new sheet. Let's say I want the B size sheet 11 by 17. I'm going to go to load and uh, I would like to go with my uh, US templates. I'll go a step back. So you see here under libraries, uh, I want to go with my English Imperial library. If you don't have your libraries, please watch the previous video that shows how you can install your Revit content libraries. I'll go with my Imperial set of libraries, title blocks. I'm going to go with one 11 by 17 sheet, uh, open it and hit OK. So this is the sheet. You can rename it. I can mention, for instance, maybe this is my uh, site plan. Uh, you can change the number here. Let's say maybe this is, for instance, 1000. Uh, so the scale is going to automatically be filled in when you bring any view. Let's say I want to bring my site, pl site plan view here. Let's say maybe I want it to be 1 to 150 instead of 1 to 250. I can go and change the scale. If you don't see the scale here, 1 to 150, we can make it a custom scale. I'm going to go with 1 to 150, OK. Then I'll go to the sheet and I will drag and drop the view on the sheet. Right? Then uh, you see that I need to move this. Uh, you can either work on it here or uh, on the site view. If I double click on the view, instead of sheet mode, it's going to switch to edit the view mode. It's kind of like if I'm like exactly on my site plan. So uh, I double click, you see the sheet is grayed out. I'm going to check the box for show crop region. I want to click on the crop region and I just want to limit my view exactly to the site, just to the property lines maybe. And I want to say uh, crop the view, right? So let's check it. Now it's cropping the view. Uh, if you don't crop it, you see the things behind the view, but I want to crop it. So I want to uh, crop the view. I don't want to see anything else. If you want to see your elevation tags in your crop region and you want it to be closer, you can drag it and drop it inside. So later we can show our um, section tags too. So if you prefer to see your tags, you can drag them and bring them inside. How about I do the same with this uh, last one here? And here I could have moved my uh, everything a little bit inside. I want to use this uh, bubble thing to move it inside. I just want to even make it a little bit more um, limited to the edges. Uh, let's move things a little bit closer, a little bit lower, so I have more room for more stuff on the sheet. Let's say our project base point and uh, survey base point, I, I already adjusted it. I don't want to see it anymore. I can select this to project base point and survey base point, right click, hide in view element. Uh, I don't need to see them maybe. Then when you are happy, I don't really want to see the crop region. I want to hide the crop region. Uh, double click somewhere else so it goes back to sheet uh, mode. Feel free to use arrow keys if you like and uh, you can move the name of the view over there. Uh, if you want to adjust this length, you need to click on the view so the bubble shows and then you can adjust it. So let's see how it looks like. It's almost good. I'm going to double click. I'm going to move this uh, a little bit more inside. Now it seems that it's all uh, fit in here. And now let's say maybe I wanted to have a second sheet and align my two elevations on the second sheet. So I'll go with the sheet. B11 by 17, and I want to name this maybe elevations. And on this view, I want to bring my west elevation. I want to put my west elevation, let's say, on the left side here. 
I'm going to double click. How about, let's say maybe we want to go with 1 to 150. That's a custom skill. So I want to go with 1 to 150. Let's check the box for show crop region. I just want to limit the view to where uh, we see everything here. Uh, how about I grab one of these levels? I want to move it out. And I want to also move this one here so it's going to align with them. Okay. And uh, if you have not done this already, we want to have it cropped. So see that? If I crop it, it's just going to limit the things to here. You can also move the elevation more closer uh, to what we have on the view here. When the view is all set, I would prefer to hide the crop region. Double click somewhere else so it's going to switch back to the sheet mode. And uh, you can move this line here. And if I click here, the blue tag shows so I can limit it to here. Now, let's say maybe I want to have my east elevation and I want to align it with these levels and I want to get rid of these bubbles here. So I would go to my uh, east elevation. It has to be the same scale. So I want to go with 1 to 150. We go with all the same scale for our all elevations. I'll bring the east view by dragging and dropping here. Uh, okay, always whenever you bring the first one, it's going to be one, the second one is going to be two. But if you want to change it, if you click on the view, you can change the detail number from here. Let's say if you wanted the east to be number one and west to be number two. Okay, now first I want to go with uh, crop region again, make sure it's only limited to just uh, the building. So we save some room and I want to also have this a little bit shorter. Then I want to hide, see that it is already cropped, so it's good. Uh, I'm going to hide the crop region, double click somewhere else and you can move this line. Now, let's say maybe it's here. I want to align it with those elevations so I can click on the new view. I want to move it from here all the way till where it aligns with my level 3, so now they are uh, aligned. Then I can move this uh, east name, so it's going to align with the west name, and I can limit the blue uh, circle. Uh, feel free to adjust the bottom of the section again. Now, let's say I just want to have one set of level names here. I want to click on my west view, uh, so double click so it will become active, and I want to click on each level and remove that bubble because we already have the names on the east elevation. Double click somewhere else, and then I'm going to use arrow keys uh, so it's starting to get better. I can move this a little bit away. Uh, feel free to click here. This says 2D. I'll talk about what's the difference between level 2D and 3D later. I want to move this here. So now if I move this to the left and uh, don't forget to bring the name West back inside and I can move this a little bit to the left. Now you see my two uh, views are exactly uh, aligning on the levels and I don't have the bubbles for West elevation. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can hide some hatches. So let's say maybe in my elevation view, I don't want to see the hatch for soil. So if I go to my east elevation, uh, let's see if I click here, this is my topo solid. That's where the hatch comes from, right? That's the earth hatch. Uh, for whatever reason, let's say you don't want to see that. I'm going to type VG or double V for visibility graphics of the view, which is also if you want to know where this short shortcut comes from, it's also on graphics when nothing is selected on properties uh, under graphics, visibility graphics. So I'm going to type T. So it's going to take me to the T items, the items that start with the letter T. I want the topo solid. Now about the topo solid, 
uh, let's say for instance uh, based on whether this pattern is cut or projected uh, we need to work with uh, this part of the menu and this part of the menu what's the difference between cut or projection uh, I can show you on site plan let's say on my east view if this uh, east view is a, is exactly outside here it's not cutting anything and that's usually how it is with elevations then when you go to visibility graphics when you go to your topo solid uh, I would go under projection surface under patterns here I'll, I clicked on where it says override and I want to say do not show any patterns in this view uh, if that did not work that's because in this view my elevation mark I have moved it a little bit inside to have it better uh, shown on the sheet then in that case I can uh, go back to my east view visibility graphics topo solid and uh, over where it says cut patterns I want to say don't show any cut patterns either right and um, then you don't see the pattern anymore but let's say if I do this and it removes all the patterns in this view but just you would just wanted to remove one specific pattern uh, there is a, another way to do that so I'm gonna go one step back so again method one is go to visibility graphics go to topo solid and uh, see if I just click somewhere else you see that here under patterns uh, I went and I removed visibility uh, you can also do the same for your cut view so method 2 is you can select your uh, object in this case is my topo solid right click override graphics in view by either by element or if I go with by category if I have further uh, topo solids with hatches it's gonna apply it on all of them uh, and this one by element only applies on this one so whichever is better for you go with it let's say by category and I want to say uh, for instance for the cut patterns do not show the patterns hit apply ok and the pattern will go away uh, that's it for this video thank you so much please like and subscribe for more videos